I honestly don't know what to say man, the animation in this week's episode was disgusting, I don't know why, maybe it's because the first season of the anime is coming to an end, but uh, from what we've seen from uh, next week's episode preview, it looks like the animation will be on point because of what will happen with Asta, so hopefully uh, the animation will be great. But don't misunderstand me, I really love the series, I really love the story, it's just that sometimes it's hard to look at because of the animation, but I really like Black Clover, I really like the story, I, I really like the concept of Black Clover, so don't mis misunderstand me, I love the series. Anyway, in this week's episode, Asta was able to slash Veto multiple times, and because Asta has anti-magic swords, it severed the magic current that enables self-healing for Veto, so He's not healing anymore when he, uh, uh, Asta is slashing him, so he's hurt right now. So that's an improvement from what we saw in the last few episodes for Asta versus Veto. My favorite part of the episode was uh, the backstory that we got from Vanessa and Finwell. We learned that Vanessa is from somewhere named the Forest of Witches, so I should have known that they were witches in this uh, series because there's magic knights and everything, so it was pretty interesting. I really liked this part of the episode because we really didn't know anything about Vanessa uh, before uh, this episode. Uh, even now, we don't really know uh, a, a lot about her. We only know that she was imprisoned in a cage by herself while there were other witches uh, in the first. We don't know why she was imprisoned in the a cage. And we don't really know how she escaped the cage and the castle that she was in. We know that it got destroyed by someone. Maybe uh, the Magic King saved her, rescued her from uh, the witches. But we really don't know anything about her right now except that she's from the forest of riches and everything. Hopefully the series will go more in depth for her backstory. I'm really interested in what uh, happened in her past right now so uh, we'll see. We got a backstory from Finral but it wasn't really interesting to me because it was basics. We get these kind of stories in every other anime. He's from a, a Magic Knight family and he was uh, the oldest and uh, his little brother was stronger than him. So it's basically the Iyuga clan in Naruto. Uh, Inata was the oldest of the two sisters but her sister Anabi is strong, was stronger than her when they were kids so it's basically the same thing. But I have to admit, we got some character development, especially from Finro. At at first, he was a crybaby. He didn't want to fight. Now he wants to fight for Asta and with Asta. So that's kind of a character development. And the way that Asta was going fast in this uh, fight was amazing because of the portals and uh, the the needle, uh, the tread uh, magic of Vanessa. He was going so fast. It was amazing, kind of. I don't know what Noelle is doing right now, I know that she doesn't have any magic left because of her water dragon, but uh, she's just watching there, she's not even doing anything, so it's kind of funny to see her watch Asta, Vanessa and Finral fight. At the end of the episode, we saw Goshe, Charmy and Grey uh, appear for the fight, they help a little bit. Um, Charmy is stronger than uh, I, I thought, you know, she's maybe one of the strongest of the Black Bulls uh, right now. But I really like her character, uh, um, Goshe was there, he used his uh, mirror magic even though it wasn't doing anything and um, what's her name, uh, Grey in her real form helped uh, Natsu, Vanessa and Fenro by using her transformation magic by cloning other Astars even though there was some that didn't resemble him at all. It was an okay episode and like I said, I really love the story of Black Clover, it's really interesting but because of the animation, it's really hard to look at. So for me, this episode was a 5 out of 10 just because of the animation and the story really didn't develop except for the backstory that we got, it really didn't show us anything new. But man, in next week's episode preview, we saw Asta's new form that we saw yesterday in my video. Uh, it's finally going to be introduced. I guess it's his, it's his demon form. 
and we'll see if he's gonna be able to beat Veto in this form. I'm not sure. Maybe it's gonna be equal, but we'll see, man. I'm hype about what's gonna happen next in the series. I'm really happy to uh, know what his demon form will do. Uh, don't spoil in the comments because I haven't read the manga. I really don't know what's gonna happen. But man, I'm I'm hype, man, because in the episode preview, it looks like the animation will be great for this moment. So I'm really hyped for next week's episode. Let me know what you thought again in the comments down below um thank you for watching like comment subscribe if it will help me a lot uh thank you for watching again and i'll see you in the next video anime specialist out peace